There are lots and lots of situations where just doing a panel isn't going to be satisfactory. For example, autism or developmental delay or seizure disorders. And these are all situations where the number of genes involved is very large and new ones are being identified all the time. Panels tend to be static and laboratories only add to those panels occasionally. Whereas when you're using whole genome sequencing, at that time, you get every gene, you get all of them. And what's more, you can go back to that data. And so that's one of the major advantages of whole genome sequencing, even over exome sequencing, where you're just doing the sequencing of the coding region, which is about one or 2% of the genome. And there again, you run into the situation of, okay, I did an exome on a patient and I didn't find the answer. Well, is the answer to that patient's problem, did I not find the answer because that gene hasn't been discovered? Doing whole genome sequencing allows you to look at everything, look at it with the most genes that you can that have been connected clinically. And if you wanna go back to that genome, you can to find an answer because we know that every year, at least 200 genes are quote, discovered. 